Circle Live. Mm -hmm. Our next guest star is rising pretty fast. She played the controversial role of the iconic Janet Jackson in the Bobby Brown story, and she's not stopping there. Let's take a look. Excuse me, Miss Jackson. Seriously, Janet? I don't know, baby. What do you want me to say? You're a trip. You have a visitor. We gotta get this car out of here. Why? So you ain't got no control? Bobby. What, he in there dancing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Please welcome actress Cree Davis. Cree! Woo nice. yeah. <laughs> my, my God. I mean, welcome, imagine Welcome, welcome. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Thank you. Well, we're just going to jump right in. Can you describe to us how it felt for you to play and depict the role of the iconic Janet Jackson? I can say... It was a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, I was grateful. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's you know it's Bobby's story. Mm -hmm. yes. He's selling his his juice. His yeah. side. <laughs> um, but I was honored when they asked me to to play her role. I went in originally for Whitney, Whitney Houston. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, an audition and sang, and they they loved me for Whitney. Um, when I got the call back, my agent said, they, "They're calling you back, Chris." I said, "Really?" He said, "Yeah, but not for Whitney." I said, "For who?" They said, "Janet." I said, okay, who, Janet who? Janet Jackson. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> what does Janet have to do with, you know, Bobby Brown? Right, right. And so um, they sent over the sides, and sides are a portion of the script. Right. And I read it, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, you know. So I had to then switch my mindset yeah. from Whitney yeah. and then study Janet yeah. and study her nuances and just watch her interviews. And, you know, so I went in for that callback. Wow. And I put on my black... Um, Tights, yeah. my black jacket, <laughs> my black hat, I pulled the ponytail out, out of the back of the hat. Rhythm Nation, honey. I was like, I'm ready. I'm <laughs> Janet now. Wow. Well, social media went crazy because no one really knew that Bobby Brown and Janet had a thing at one point. Mm -hmm. So when you read that, I'm sure you were floored. What, what, do you, what do you make of everything, the frenzy that happened on social media? And then how was it for you to do a bedroom scene with Bobby's character? <laughs> well, when I read it, you know, I was shocked as mm -hmm. well because I didn't know right right but a lot of people um, when they posted on social media they said this is not new news mm -hmm. well, this, is in, his, in this is in his yeah. book and they were talking about how great his book is and how vulnerable he was in the book wow. so the, the movie is literally a reflection of his book mm -hmm. and I encourage people to still go read the book okay. um, Charlemagne I think he he was he loved the book and he's still talking about this movie wow. and that specific scene. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, so, but, you know, a, a lovemaking scene, I trained for it. Okay. I went to film school, so okay. you have to, you have to uh, be trained and mentally set and in the right place to have 20 people in the room. It's so mm -hmm. much exposure. I'm sure. Yes, it's exposure, it's vulnerability. All that takes practice, it takes training. Um, and behind the scenes, it's cut. It's action, cut, act. it's very technical. Right. And you still have to stay in that mindset. And you still have to stay in the right. mindset. Yeah. You still have to remember your lines. You still, you know, have to be professional. And there are 20 people in the room. Yes, mm. of course. And two and three cameras. Wow. Well, how, how easy was it for you to, to swing into this type of role, especially because you are a singer mm -hmm. and you have some new music out. But did Whitney or Janet influence you as you were playing this role? Absolutely. And as a singer? Yes, all around. Um, I grew up listening to Whitney. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening to Janet and Control and Whitney's uh, Greatest mm -hmm. Love of All. That was one of the songs I sang, mm -hmm. okay. you know, growing up um, mm -hmm. at church and in talent shows. Mm -hmm. And my, mo my mom and my dad are, um, well, my dad passed away. Mm -hmm. Rest That's in peace, dad. Um, but they were in the arts as well. Yeah. They had their own band called the Escapades mm -hmm. out of great. Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. They traveled all over. Um, my dad was the guitarist. My mom was the lead singer yeah. and the uh, keyboardist. And so you wow. got it. So you got it honest. I and you have it. some new music out now. So let's take yes. a look at it. Yes. Come on, I'm ready for every lady. Come on, I'm ready. Come on, I'm ready. Come on, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, you All right. Yes. Yes. You came out with Sierra too. Yes. A little yes. bit. A little yes. bit. So why don't you describe your sound for us? My sound, um, it's classic, it's, mm -hmm. you know, simple, it's, mm -hmm. um, I love um, 
Anita Baker. Mm -hmm. I love Faith yes. Evans. Yes. All, I've, I've, I was inspired by all of them. So it's a mixture of all of them. Yes. And I don't do a whole lot of runs and all of that. It's just simple, angelic, Sade, Sade yes. beautiful singing. And I'm working on, the, on an album. It's titled Love Levels. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to represent each level of love, the oh, love wow. between man and woman, mm -hmm. the love between um, family, yes. the unconditional love aspect. And even aspect. the love for yourself. The love for yes. yourself, the well, love Cree. from one generation to yes. the next. Well, Cree, we want to thank you so much for being here with us thank today. You. To keep up with Cree, follow her at Cree Davis Star. Up next, we want to hear what you say as this is Flashback Friday <laughs> on Full Circle. How about that? Flashback Friday. <laughs> <laughs>